Buongiorno. Welcome after a long break. Last time we built the hall of our Italian worship R and Zara and painted it with basic colors. Today we will add more elements and do some weathering to make our model a bit more realistic. As you can see, I start by cutting elements out of the frame. In this case, it's one of the two chimneys. The whole building process, from cutting to painting, is the same as for the hull. There is also no missing photo-etched elements. They make our model more detailed and therefore more attractive. This mess will soon be the main mast. Ok, we already have all the elements that we will paint today. We start with the primer, of course. We were talking about the primer in the previous video. But I must repeat that is very important, at least for the bigger elements. So prepared elements we can paint with our base color. When our elements are grey and sad enough, it's time to add more grey color. For small elements, I use a brush to paint the deck, because masking with a tape and painting with an airbrush would take much more time and the effect will be identical anyway. Besides, painting with a brush is just more fun. I go back to the times when I was a kid and models were painted only with a brush.
Of course, one layer is not enough. Two or three will be okay. The paint must be diluted with water so that brush marks are not visible. I cover the whole surface, including the hull, with a layer of satin varnish. This protects the paint and makes further work with oil paints and washes easier. So, animal wash. I cover the details with Tamiya Panel Liner Black to expose the details of the model. The wash will flow into the corners, creating a shadow effect. Of course, you have to remove excess wash with animal thinner, which I do with a brush later, but the cotton swaps also are great for this. Here we have a comparison before and after removing the excess wash. And here I add signs of rust and dirt on the deck. It can't be too clean, right? weathering of the hull will be made in my favorite way. I apply many dots of oil paint to the hull in white, brown and black colors. Under the waterline I will do the same effect, but only with a black color. I don't know why, in my mind it looks the best. We will see later. Without waiting I brush the dots with lots of enamel thinner.
I waited a few days before doing the next step. This time allowed the oil paint to dry enough to make it almost impervious to further enamel veneer treatment. You already know this product. We used it on the deck. The principle is the same. Apply it on the details, wait a few minutes for it to dry and remove the excess. Ok, the hull is almost ready. Let's now move on to the final stage of weathering, which will open the way to joining the pieces together. Finally. We will use the dry brush technique, which you may be familiar with. However, I have never seen oil paint used in this technique. This one, I'm thinking, will probably be easier to remove if something goes wrong. Let's give it a try. I think it came out nice. Let's glue something together now. Oh, look at that, a brand new 203mm guns. How did you like it? Seems like pretty little work, for that the result is probably pretty good. In the next video we will add a lot of details to the model. We will do rigging and finish the model with a nice base. I do not know when the new video will come out, but it will come out definitely. I am personally curious how the final model will come out. I will just get down to work. Thanks for watching. Ciao!